look at the picture below and answer the following questions. Who am I? Who did I prescribe medicine to and why? And what qualifications did I have? And as per any question involving a source, always think in terms of what can you initially see for a level one, the comprehension element, and then what you can infer from the information that's provided for the higher level two inference skill. Please pause. Well, firstly, you would have been an apothecary. Who did I prescribe medicine to and why? You were prescribed medicine to the working classes because they can't afford to see a doctor or a physician. What qualifications would you have had? None that were formal. You would have been somewhere between a scientist and a magician. Some of what you did would have had genuine medical use. Other would have been complete superstition kind of halfway house between the changes that are taking place in the Renaissance and the medieval superstition that came before. Please pause. The lesson today then is regarding patent medicine. That's the development of specific medicines. And the pharmacies, the chemists that carried these out later in history in the 19th century. What we want to do today is find out how an apothecary's job change into that of a pharmacist and the problems that existed with pharmacy in the 19th century bearing in mind it's a period of laissez-faire the government would have had very few laws regulating what went on in the areas of medicine the outcomes will be that you will have read the textbook and used the information and used it to write an answer to the opposite question you will then go on to watch a BBC TV documentary on the Victorian pharmacy and use it to list the problems with pharmacies at this time. You might have been able to say why this was bad for medicine. Please pause. Now please refer to the textbook. Using page 32 and 33 of the textbook, answer the following. Explain how the role of the apothecary changed into that of a pharmacist during this period. As you're doing this, think about the following points. What did they make and what ingredients did they use? What was the impact of William Brockton and Jesse Boot on the industry? What impact did the government have on the content of pills? And what impact did the chemical industry have on the pharmaceutical industry? Watch the following DVD clip. And as you're watching it, please complete the diagram. What problems were there with early pharmacies? As an extension task, for each problem you write down, write down why it is bad for medicine. And as per other exercises like this, write down your analysis, the because, in a separate colour to clearly illustrate your learning. 